Oh, he's good. He would be ready to roll. You know, it's no problem. He just had a little minor, uh, minor back thing. He's fine, though. But he's ready. You know, first off, I like to say, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be tough to find something that would top jumping out of a plane. But as a football coach, I think this topped it. And the reason I say it is, it's like, you know, this is this day was a long time coming. You know, you can't wait to to get at it. You're itching, ready to go. And you get out here and you experience it. You experience the fans. You experience the, you know, we had great weather on the grass and all that kind of stuff. It's just, man, it's tremendous. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I'm getting paid what I'm getting paid. But when you look at this, you're like, man, you do it for a heck of a lot less. I mean, way, way, way less. Um, you know, my agent's not happy with it. But I'm just telling you, I mean, it, it doesn't get much better. Uh, it, was, it was great. We are so much further along now. Then when I when I go back and look at the mini camps and all that kind of stuff from a communication standpoint, from all that, we're hard count. We're doing all this stuff already from day one, and it's great. Now the, the twos were a little rough there in one of the periods, but um, you know our big thing is we got to put work in every single day, and let's see how good we're going to be at the end of this thing. And I think we'll be pretty good. But with that, I'll open it up for questions. I just you know. It's funny. I think it's just, you know, it's it's hard to explain. But as a coach, this is what you you live for. You got a you have an excellent football team. You got a great fan base that's excited to be here. You got a beautiful day here. Beautiful facilities. It's just. I mean, I don't know. It just. It doesn't get much better. It really doesn't. And uh, you know, first day of camp and things. Just such a long time coming that it was just. Uh, it's just fantastic. You know, to be out here. In terms of what you were trying to work on, you know, the team drills today, what was the emphasis uh, today, and, and how did you gauge maybe your previous statement by what you saw? Well, just we were really doing first and second down stuff. Uh, so it wasn't that we're moving the ball or anything in particular that way, but just the, you know, the formations, the alignments, assignment, techniques, that's what you're really looking for and uh, in a lot of communication. And I thought our communication was, I mean, a zillion times. I'm not saying we're there by any stretch, but it was way better than, than you know, what it was, I think, in the mini camps. Uh, and just, you know, getting guys out here, you know, having Sammy on the field, does that help? Yeah, it probably helps, you know, as well. He looks pretty good. Um, but it just... It just feels way better. And the fact we're using cadence, we're not just going on the first sound, you know, all that type of stuff. Uh, so that I thought we looked, you know, pretty decent that way. Can you draw, can you draw any parallels to your first, your second head coach job, first day with a new team? Any parallels to what it was like that first day back in 09? You talked, you're pretty excited here, but you must be no excited. About that too. Oh, I absolutely was excited. There's no question about it. I, you know, but um, it just has a different feel. And I don't know if it's, uh, you know, because it is my second chance or whatever it is. I think I'm, I'm uh, you know, better prepared now than I was then. Even though that same enthusiasm that I have now, I had back then, I can promise you. And, uh, you know, so that, that's probably real similar. It's not a whole lot different. You have quarterback competition. You have competition at several different positions. I feel this is a really deep roster. In particular, at a lot of positions, I think that makes for a great camp. Uh, so, you know, but I'm sure I was, you know, as enthusiastic back then and things. But I think now, when I look back on it, you know, having six years under my belt, I'm probably more prepared for it and uh, in, in looking for certain things. And um, you know, so I, I feel great. I can tell you that much. Rex, I don't know. Yeah, Carpenter just kind of tweaked the hamstring and things, so he's going to be all right. But uh, no setbacks that way. And as far as Leotis is concerned, you know, it's, um, you know, he, he's got a little, you know, injury and things like that. We'll see how, how it goes, progresses, you know, through this training camp and things. But I'm not concerned now with it. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, I know he's doing what he can to, you know, to speed his recovery. So that's a good thing. Rex up. Well, I mean, it was, it's probably, you know, I, I don't know specifically that answer and things, but, uh, you know, we're not overly concerned.
Rex, I don't know if you saw in the middle of practice LaShawn getting the crowd fired up throwing the football. We have never seen that here at Fisher, a player do that in the middle of practice. Is that kind of your culture rubbing off on these guys, the, the excitement? I don't know about that, but I, I think the, uh, you know, I, I was excited as, as was uh, LaShawn, everybody else. I think it's new to us, you know, being here and you see in the fans and how excited and enthused they are here. Uh, that, that's really a, a great thing. There's no question about it. I know I was excited about it, and, and I'm sure some of those guys. But, um, you know, I think that's LaShawn who he is. You know, it's not anything that, you know, my culture, whatever. That, I think that's the kind of person he is. Hey, Rex. Hey. We want to win, I can tell you that much. And we expect to win. So um, I think going into it, anything, you know, you're – we're going to work. We're going to do everything we can to put ourselves in that, that position. That, that's certainly our objective is to, is to get in there, and we'll see. Obviously, we've got a lot of work to do. You know, we've got some tough opponents in front of us, but um, we're not focused on the opponents. We're focused on us, and I think uh, I'm excited where we're, where we're going. It's not just me that believes in it. It's everybody. So Rex, you know you've only had like an hour of teamwork in, a tra- in one training camp practice. Where do the quarterbacks – Stand right now. <laughs> oh my goodness! However you rank them, you know, because that's that's pretty much it. I mean, we got a long way to go, but um, you know, this obviously is just the the start of everything. But every day you're evaluating and things like that. But um, you know, I'm not ready to say this guy's in this spot or whatever. Yeah, he did. He, uh, you know, he he came to me. He wanted to. Uh, uh, to help his, this team out in any way. And, you know, you have a guy like Leotis goes down or whatever. Sometimes you can't have enough depth at corner, in my opinion. First-hand info. Um, so let's see what he can do. Obviously, we're not going to overcoach him, you know, all that stuff. We expect him to be, a, you know, a, a top receiver for us. But if he can help out in that area, just like if, if there's a, you know, if Kyle Williams can help our offense out, then we're going to look at that as well. But this is just a uh, – uh, you know, let's see what he can do a little bit. You know, he's the one who came to me with it. Obviously, he's got the uh, uh, the physical skill set that you would think he'd, he'd probably be pretty good at it. Coach, uh, hey. just your comments on Ron Darby with your last today a couple of times and he slid right into that first team role and you didn't look out of place. Well, I know he can't play the football down the field. That was what they said about him, right? I don't know that first play he did, didn't he? So uh, I think the combination of him playing, you got uh, Donnie Henderson, you know, really had enough coaching those corners. You know, when you look at that, that experience we have in the back end as a coaching staff, uh, not just with the, the guys we have playing, I think he's going to benefit from that. You know, as, as you look at it with, uh, you know, Tim McDonald back there with Donnie Henderson and Dennis Thurman, that's that's pretty good group. But that's why we are confident that we're going to get this young man up to speed. And um, he, had, he has the opportunity in front of him, obviously, with Leotis being out. And, and we'll see how quickly uh, this guy develops. But I, I think he's going to be a guy that's going to uh, develop quickly. Well, hey, Rex, now that you've had you know, that time from the end of the offseason to work out some camp experience, altered in any way, shape, or form your approach to evaluating the quarterback position, specifically how it's going to play out here. Um, what's the framework for that if you could update us? Well, I think, you know, first off, we're going to have more two-spot drills than, than I've ever had. You know, so I think uh, – uh, that's something Greg Roman has brought to us. He did that at Stanford. He did it also with San Francisco. I think it's a great idea. Uh, it's not necessarily that you double the reps, but you're getting more reps for your guys. And and uh, when you have the type of players that we have at that position, it's not just two guys battling. You actually have three guys battling for that job. I think it gives us an opportunity to to be able to look at all three guys. And, and uh, so that's something mainly that uh, – that's going to be different than what I've been in the past. Rex, go from camp, you have to almost guard against overanalyzing every throw from these guys then? Well, I don't think that's what we're going to do is, hey, look, this guy, now he moved ahead. He had a, a great throw here. He's going to move ahead. I don't think he's going to be like that. But at the same time, every day is important, and I think that's something that uh, that we're certainly looking at. <laughs> Well, first off, Pat was hired um, like the last day of, of uh, 
of minicamp. Okay. So it wasn't that he was just hired. So he was he was already on board, and you know so it had really nothing to do with uh, with Aaron's situation. And as far as Aaron's uh, situation is concerned, there's no update uh, on that. You know we're working with the league, uh, and you know still gathering uh, the information. How did you feel today? How much has he changed the dynamic of your offense? Well, I think he definitely changes the, the uh, dynamic of our offense, any offense that he's on. Um, I, I know what he meant, obviously, to Clemson and things, but he's just uh, having, you know, had to defend against them. I know what a pain it is because you have to basically double them. Uh, if not, you're really going to struggle, and he's going to win most of those one-on-one -on -one matchups. So uh, he looked great to me. You know, it's like not, nothing happened. Uh, you know, that's how he feels. He's in great shape. I know he's confident with uh, – you know, with the guys coaching him and everything else, he's excited to get back out here. So, uh, you know, that's great for Bill fans. Hey, uh, Rex, in terms of uh, the offensive line and the coaching situation, you saw Kurt out there today. Can you just update, you know, your approach, how you've been uh, with, with the Prober situation pending, what the approach would be here and how it would be? Well, Kurt's obviously going to head up, uh, you know, coaching that, uh, coaching the offensive line. He's obviously been here uh, throughout camp. I think he's got the qualities to be a fine offensive line coach. Uh, but it's just business as usual for us. Hey, Rex, how do you envision, uh, with McCoy here getting the ball to the work probably, how do you envision Fred fitting into that? And what can you expect from the oldest running back in the NFL at this stage? What are you hoping to get out of him? Well, first off, I think Fred is in great shape. So I think that's, uh, you know, he may be the oldest guy, but I still think he's, uh, you know, he's got some tread on that tire still. Uh, the thing you notice immediately about Fred, smart, he picks things up extremely well. He's picked up our offense extremely well. Still valuable, you know, as a, a threat out of the backfield. Great in blitz pickup. And by the way, he can still run the football. So we'll use him. We're not going to say that his role is going to be here yet. It's clearly too early to define roles that way. Uh, you know, I, I get it. You know, obviously, LaShawn came in here to get the majority of, of, the, uh, of the carries. They're, they're, that's not a secret. But I think Fred could be very valuable for us. Rex Corey Rams. Well, I mean, Duke is a guy that worked all camp, you know, all through the mini camps and things. I put really with the, those three guys, I know the way we set up practice, the twos get a ton of reps. So we put with uh, Rambo, you know, Duke and, um, uh, and Meeks, all three of them I just put with the twos. So they're going to rotate with that group. But I want to work Corey and obviously with uh, Aaron not having work. I, I want those guys to work together uh, and, and do it with the ones. You get an invite Last one, guys. Party. I did not get an invite. I'm a little disappointed about that, but maybe next year.